This painting has is, is got a series of arcs that move in this direction and that direction so that, that they all they all pivot right onto this point so it's like they fan out but they also come back together right along this horizontal so that's one kind of opening and folding energy I was reading an article today in the paper by one of those New York critics and she seemed to miss the point that art is not about media it's about ideas I was trained as a figure painter, that's why I managed to get into the academy in London. I was not particularly interested in the figure, that was more or less a test of motor skills. The easiest thing in the world to do is to paint a still life group, to set in front of something that you just copy. One wants to transcend just copying, you want to make it do something else. That something else is very difficult to define and describe, but that's what I think art is. I was more interested in trying to create what I think a work of art creates. There's a sense of magic about a work of art. It creates a, a compelling experience that is actually extremely difficult to describe. And I don't think I've read anything by any critic that really manages to communicate what I think a work of art really does. I think the thing that stimulates me most is actually walking in the landscape. I'm not trying to paint landscapes or make things look like landscapes. But there is an experience that I have in landscape, whether it's when I've been in Japan, there has been certain situations where the experience has been overwhelming. I might even use the term spiritual, although I'm not quite sure what that means. I want the work that I do to have that kind of presence. I want it to be uplifting, I want it to be light, I don't want it to be heavy and kind of oppressive. Every painting is a search. It's like trying to breathe life's energy into this inanimate object so it looks like it is alive. That's what I'm aiming for in the work all the time. I want it to feel like it's alive. It's not kind of this dumb object. What will happen when the painting is completed is that that oval will float way in front of this set of energies, but because it's touching the edge, it will hinge to the edge and will give the appearance of it actually having an elevation like this. So there are very key elements of where things just touch, like where the ovals just touch the edge and where the ovals just touch one another. Those create, for me, very powerful visual tensions. They're not complicated paintings, they're very simple. I think most great art is not complicated. I want that magic to happen. And to describe that magic isn't possible. The painting is the magic, and that's the description. Really true art is timeless. It can be appreciated by anybody, anywhere. I love looking at art, whether it's a piece that a student has made. It can be, to me, as significant, important, as beautiful and compelling as anything I've seen in any museum. It's indefinable. It's not totally graspable. It's not really explainable. And that's one of the great difficulties of teaching art. You can teach the language but you cannot um, teach people what to say. <laughs>